A lot of you asked me about what's my go-to kit for portrait work and today's video we're going to talk about that featuring this what's in my bag and with a little bit of help from uh yeah one of our long-term friends If I'm honest, I don't know what I'm doing I'm just wandering the ruins looking for a place to start If I'm honest, I don't know who I am All I see is a man who's waiting for a wake-up call so as you can see, this is the kit that I'd usually take for well, any sort of portrait session that I do in around London, actually also sometime in Europe as well. It's very straightforward and I do bring a bunch of lenses only because sometimes when you go to locations, you just don't know, you know what to expect, you know, how wide do you need the scene is and things like that. But uh, this is kind of like the range that I usually take. So with all these lenses here, I can actually cover almost everything. Um, so to so start it off, of course I have my trusty EM1X and uh, yeah this is a really very reliable professional camera that can shoot in any sort of situations. On it is the 17mm 1.2 Pro and here we have the 40-150 uh, Pro lens and I have the 25 1.2 Pro, the 45 1.8 Premium and the 12 Premium lens as well. Um, so this is kind of like the range that I usually go for and people might actually argue why don't I just bring let's say a 12-40 to f2.8 Pro zoom. I'm going to tell you that a little bit later um, but with all this this is kind of my standard kit. Uh, of course in my bag also we'll have the spare memory cards just in case uh, something happened, corruptions or you know you just need backup although this got dual cast lock which has kind of illuminated my problems already but you just never know as a professional you always have to bring backup. Then of course my LED light if you haven't seen the review for this light yet the link is up there it's brilliant for some feel like sometimes and indoor is actually very great. Uh, I do still use my speed light depending on what sort of shoot I do so to, in today we're going to use LED. Um, then this is the bag that I've been carrying for the last, you might actually actually realize that I've been using this backpack for the last three months, I think, and uh, instead of my normal Billingham, uh, I'm going to tell you the reason why I use this bag as well. So this is it. This is my kit for my portrait work. As promised, we're going to have a little bit of a help from a long-term friend, our male model of the year, Matt Carmen. Hello. Yay! There you go. You're not wearing your Billingham. No, mate. I got uh, I got a new love. Okay. <laughs> nice it, it, it is nice yeah well one of the reasons i use a new bag not my usual billingham is because i have a special need these days because i carry a little bit more than usual so as you know shoulder bag can be quite heavy on one side yeah. as we discussed that before with tracy in that bag video if you haven't seen that the link is up there uh, but anyway yeah so this is kind of what i use for these kind of day-to-day -day running around location shooting things like that. it fits quite a bit in it without having uh, uh, to bear that weight on just one side of the shoulder and yeah. Yeah, it's, it's pretty good and also it holds quite a bit as well I can also, I can also carry my uh, gimbal I don't know if you know those yeah, yeah, electronic cool. thing yeah, yes yeah, yeah. put my gimbal in there so I can actually fit all my vlogging kit my photography kit all at one time and then so I can shoot in the morning vlog in the afternoon yeah. so I can do everything stylish and it's still got a space for uh, my bottle of water <laughs> and tripod so like it can actually fit quite a bit in it perfect so that's cool so um, anyway we're going to start with you doing some beautiful portraits city shots city shots yeah. city boy so yeah we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna do some city photograph of you using different lenses in my bag and let's go amazing cool let's uh, start up with a full body In black and white, I think that look very cool. Yeah. Right, let's try this. Okay, you ready? Here we go. Oh, my hand. <laughs> Too many people, one second. Okay, stay very still, yeah? <laughs> so, Jimmy, what makes a portrait lens a portrait lens? A portrait lens or a portrait lens? Uh, well, anything 
that can take a photograph or any lens that can take a photograph is actually a portrait lens. Okay. Um, well, you're a model, so yeah. you've seen tons and tons of different photographs mm -hmm. or your photograph being shot by different photographers and then um, you see different style. Yeah all the time but more importantly is what, how you're being featured within that frame mm -hmm. you know like there are uh, the extreme would be there'll be like extreme close-up like just more like a face shot then you got the uh, full body with lots of background behind it so these are the two extremes but then you got somewhere in the middle like head and shoulder half body and that sort of thing yeah. and each one of them can be different focal length so that means that anything can be a portrait lens depending on what you use it for or how you want to achieve the shot or what sort of thing you would like to see with the subject in, in question yeah and uh, for me personally i actually like to use a moderate wide angle shot to get a little bit of environment into it yeah. so i know i want to see that subject in that environment to kind of uh, uh bring the character out mm -hmm. so it's, to a lot of people when they use a very um, tight portrait lens and then uh, they like, let's say they blur out the background and you have complete no idea where it is and the character will be based on the expression of the mm. or whatever they wear focuses more on them rather than yeah so so that you have to being a portrait photographer you have to understand you know how you can utilize that skills you know if you are very good at reading people or or if the models are very good at expressing themselves so that is kind of like a halfway ticket already mm. but if people if both i don't know what they're doing <laughs> not good not that's good. Not, that's not very good but then you can experiment by using different focal lengths not always trying to think that I'll, I'll have a portrait lens because a lot of misconception, misinformed photographers, you only use certain lenses for, for portraits. Because mm. quite, you know, here a lot in, on the photography world, like you only use 90 millimeters, 85 millimeters. Those are the proper portrait lens. But it's no such thing because when you use those those lenses, if you don't use them properly, you use it wrong, and then yeah. you and then you can't bring out the character. And it's not a good portrait. Talk about the per the person and their creativity. Yeah, so like you have to experiment, but like I said, anything can be. So if you've got a a kit lens at home lying around, just trying to shoot with it and see what you can come up with. And then quite often you'll be quite surprised. I've learned a lot. <laughs> Always has. Like last time we did the, the macro, macro lens. lens. Yeah, 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 macro lens. You haven't checked that video yet. We've got a link up there. <laughs> yeah. It's actually cool. No, that was your evil brother. That was my evil brother. Yeah. That's yeah, what. that was the evil brother. <laughs> he was a little bit dishevelled that day. Yeah, and a little bit of a mm, that yeah. as well. <laughs> What do you think of uh, you know our session? It was uh, it was good. It was interesting to see the way you use different lenses and yeah. how it kind of captured me differently. Yeah. Um, but yeah, as you said, the surroundings and and the, the, the behaviors can be really captured differently by different lenses. Yeah, yeah. It's not too tiring for you though. Walking no, around. No, no. no. Too tiring, but then that's, that's photos. You know, that's it's, photo shoots. It's, it's worth it, man. You know, like, <laughs> it's, it's always worth it. You know, yeah, it's yeah. just uh, always have fun with Matt. You know, that's 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 a, that's a true fact. And uh, yeah, I'm hoping to see you again very soon on our channel. Yeah. Hopefully next time we'll be uh, you know. Bit of different, different look as well. Different look. I'm going to shave the beard off. I think. No, no. I think this is cool. Actually, this is the Wolverine look. You know, yeah, all, yeah, all you yeah. need is a little bit of pointy hair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that 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 will do the job. And maybe like you have to bulk up another like five Definitely, sizes. Yeah, yeah. Do some weight. But that's not his look. I mean, he's a he's a very nice slender. Yeah, I like. Slender. I would. Like, I wish I would be this slender, man. You know, yeah. like you have to tell me. Tell me all the secrets. But anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and. You want to see more Matt? Yeah, leave some comments down below and uh, we'll definitely we'll grab him in again and uh, in the future videos. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel by clicking the button and yeah, put a bell notification so you stay notified when our new video is coming out. Until next time. See you later. Jiajian. Bye. A lot of you guys ask me about what my go-to, what's my go-to? A lot of you guys ask me about what kit do I use to, uh, well, uh, uh. one, two, three, four, five, okay. God, man, that's loud. <laughs> As promised, we're gonna bring in a male model for help, and here it is, here it is, ah, <laughs> oh, fuck it, ah, oh, damn it. <laughs>